Hey guys, I'm James and this is the Smart Home Automation Project. So this project ties together a bunch of uh, sensors and devices that would be useful in the home and then automates some of the processes. Uh, my job in the project was to work on the hardware. Hi guys, my name is Gagan. My role for the project is as a system tester for both hardware and software. Hi guys, my name is Naveen and uh, my job in the project was to work on the database and also on the RFID sensor and uh, some, uh, some parts of the Android app such as login and on the RFID. Hi guys, my name is Sukman and my role in the project was of application testing. I did recording, uh, making documents, the final reports and the results. Let's start with the login page. Uh, we have to add the credentials to log in. It is one, two, three, four, five, six. It will link all the hardware parts. All right, now we're going to demonstrate how the hardware links to the database. Okay, and as you can see, in the database, the hardware has found the user and populated all the devices into the database automatically. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how we add rooms. So I'm going to add two rooms since our model has two rooms. First one, oops, first one I'm going to call bedroom. I'm going to select type as bedroom. That type indicates uh, to the app which icon to use. And the next is going to be main floor. I'm going to call that a living room. Okay, I'm going to hit save. All right, so this can happen. All we got to do Go back to settings, manage rooms, hit save again, and hit retry. Okay, it looks like it worked this time. And now we have the sensors populated. So these sensors and devices are coming from the hardware device. So I'm going to quickly walk through adding the different devices to the rooms. And I'm going to hit save. That should bring us back to the main screen. As you can see from the main screen in the bedroom, we have smoke detector on, lights off, and then the temperature and humidity readings. These are live readings. On the main floor, the only live reading we're getting is the lights that are off. Okay, so if you go to the main floor, we can see that the devices are here. So far, there have been no sensor readings, and I'll demonstrate how these devices work. Okay, so that's opening the door. I'm gonna close it again. I'm going to turn one of the two lights on, turn the second light on, okay, and we can even change the color of the lights. So I'm going to make this color red and this color green for a nice Christmas effect. Okay. Then we can go up to here and go to the other room and see that our sensor readings are up here in the data reading section. And I can also turn on the upper floor light like the other room. So hey guys, so I'm going to introduce about the, the RFID part, so how we can open the door using an RFID. So we can go to settings and first I'll show you, but if I do it without uh, putting the card into the system. So I'll, ha I'll go and turn on the RFID detection and the RFID notification. So as you can see, when I scan the, the RFID, you will see a wrong access card scan because that's not in the system right now. And now I'm gonna go and put this into the system. I'll go to settings, manage access cards. And here, uh, these are two options. You can enter the card number manually or you can add using the scanner. So I'll choose add using the scanner. I'm gonna start detecting the RFID. And now when I go here, scan it, see it, it already found the code. So when I hit correct and hit dismiss, so it's already there now. And now when I'm gonna go to the scan it, and it, the door is open right now and it will close after 10 seconds so yeah and uh, then also you can go to the access cards and you can delete or add how many how many cards you want and the other thing i'm going to show is in the automation screen so yeah if you don't want the rfi you can just uh, turn turn these things off or if you don't want not you can just turn the notification off 
and uh, here in screen we do have an option to turn on the motion detection as well so how it works is like when someone enters a room and when the motion is, is detected and the lights gonna turn on so I'll turn it on right now and you can see it's on right now and when like see uh, the lights are now on so and it will turn off after a couple of seconds after the no motion will be detected so okay. we are gonna show you how the smoke sensor work so now we're gonna light it up and see what happens when the smoke comes near the smoke sensor. So when there is smoke, so the lights got on and the buzzer will get on and we get a notification on our app. Then we click on it, it will take over to the screen settings. Then we just only need to reset it up to reset the setting and the alarm will get off. So we have some many options in our app when so they are legal, review, help and exit. So if a, if a person want to review our app, our app, they can go to review screen, create our app, like suppose 4, then enter their name, their phone number, something, then send feedback. So when we send feedback, it goes to the database, it automatically goes to user feedback here. And as you can see, my all details are there, my ID, my feedback, name, phone, ratings, everything. Another option we have is help. In help, it tells about about app and report an issue. And if a person have an issue in our app, they can just put their ID. It's automated. So the person who logged in, it automatically get their ID, email ID, and they can type the report. So we have a setting screen in our app. It shows the number of options like the managing SS card to choose an image. Here we can choose an image. Uh, right now we don't have any gallery in the over here. So let's go back and the image whichever will be chosen will be shown over here. Uh, here we can manage the app which you have already seen earlier. And then we have a switch over here. It shows the internet connection whether the app is connected or no. And that's it for here and from logout we can log out from the app.